So how are the trade-offs going to work? What if you have to choose between a shorter, more intense pain and a longer, less intense pain? In order to think about this, it might be helpful to perform a series of what philosophers call thought experiments. I should say something just before we get going about what a thought experiment is. A thought experiment in philosophy is typically a, a case where we imagine a particular story or a, a particular kind of uh, situation and it involves focusing on a situation that's kind of unrealistic, kind of artificial, or a pair of situations that are kind of unrealistic and kind of artificial. But they're artificial for a reason. They differ with respect to something that we're interested in, a difference that we're interested in. And by focusing on this difference that arises in these very simple artificial cases, we can learn something that we can then reapply to more realistic, more complex cases that we actually face. So let's get going. Um, let's first grade hand pains in this way. Let's say that level 11 hand pain is the pain you get when you're wearing bullet ant gloves. What are bullet ant gloves? Well, there's a, a tribe in the Amazon called the Sitare Malwi tribe that has this initiation rite. The uh, adolescent boys go off into the forest. They um, uh, get a bunch of bullet ants, which are large and extremely poisonous ants. And they, um, and they uh, gather them, they drug them, so it's basically send the ants to sleep. They insert the ants inside these woven gloves, stingers pointing outwards. And then as part of their initiation rite, they have to wear these gloves for five minutes. And to get a visceral sense of just how painful this level 11 hand pain is, I I'd look it up on YouTube. Just Google bullet ant gloves, Satari Maui right, or just bullet ant gloves, and it'll take you to uh, various videos of Westerners attempting to uh, do this Satari Maui initiation right and discovering just how extraordinarily painful it is. It's very, very painful indeed. Okay, that's level 11 hand pain. Level one hand pain, say that's the kind of pain you get from a hangnail. It's sort of uncomfortable. It's kind of there on the fringes of your consciousness. Um, you sort of notice it, but it's not in any sense unbearable. You can get on with your day. It's a kind of nagging thing in the background of your mind. So suppose you have to choose between one day of level 11 pain. That's 24 full hours wearing the bullet ant gloves. Again, go to YouTube to get a sense of what that would involve. That's one choice. The other choice, your other option, is 1,024 days. That's 10 to the... Uh, two to the power of 10 days of level one pain. That's around three years of a hangnail that kind of never goes away. Again, this is where this case is going to be a bit unrealistic. Real hangnails, they go away after a period of time. Or they get much worse and they start to bother you more and more and more. The hang hangnail we're imagining remains a hangnail level pain for three years. It's always there at the fringes of your consciousness, neither getting better nor getting worse. Okay, so which would you choose? The bullet ant gloves or the hangnail? I take it that, of course, you're gonna choose the hangnail. Everybody I've asked this question to chooses the hangnail. Of course you're gonna choose the hangnail. Look at those bullet ant gloves. Never, ever would you choose such a thing. But here's an argument to the effect that you're wrong, that it's better for you to take the bullet ant gloves than it is to take the hangnail. Okay, so, the argument roughly is going to go like this. We'll put it more, more, more precisely in a moment. But roughly the argument goes like this. Start by comparing one day of level 11 pain, that's the bullet ant gloves, with two days of level 10 pain. What's level two, 10 pain? Well, it's just a little bit off level 11 pain. It's still unbearable. It's still agony. But it's a little bit less bad. Which is better for you? Uh, which is less bad for you? It seems like, though the level 10 pain is slightly less painful, you've got twice as much of it. So it's better for you to take the day of level 11 pain over the two days of level 10 pain. That's your first comparison. Now compare the two days of level 10 pain 
to four days of level nine pain. Again, the level nine pain is a little bit less bad than the level 10 pain, but there's twice as much of it. That might make you think if you had a choice between these two things, you'd be right to choose the two days of level 10 pain over the four days of level nine pain. Why? Because it'd be better for you, less bad for you. And now I think you can already see where this is going. You have to compare the four days of level nine pain with eight days of level eight pain. Again, level eight pain, a little bit less bad. Again, there's twice as much of it. So on balance, that's worse. And we go the whole way through the series. 16 days of level seven pain, 32 days of level six pain, 64 days of level five pain, 128 days of level four pain, 256 days of level three pain, 512 days of level two pain, until we arrive at 1,024 days of level one pain, and we've been continually getting worse. Well, if each of those things is worse than its predecessor, then the last must be worse than the first. It must be worse that you experience 1,024 days of level one pain than you experience that one day of bullet ant gloves. Okay, that was a quick version of the argument. Let's kind of reconstruct it in terms of premises and conclusions. Okay, we have here your series. Here are the series of uh, experiences that you might have. Premise one of the argument says this. Each of these experiences is worse for you than its predecessor. Each time you're experiencing a little bit less intense pain, but twice as much of it, that's worse. Premise two says, worse for you, the relation worse for you is a transitive relation. That's a bit of philosophy terminology. Let me explain what it means. It means that for any experiences, A, B, C, if A is worse for you than B, and B is worse for you than C, then A is worse for you than C. The conclusion of the argument then is that 1,024 days of level one pain is worse for you than one day of level 11 pain. Now, that's a valid argument, I can promise you. So if you accept the premises, then you must expect, accept the conclusion. It's impossible that the premises be true and the conclusion false. Now, you probably started off not believing the conclusion of this argument, but I guess you also believed the premises of the argument before, you, before you, you looked at it. And so if you accept those premises, you've got to change your mind. You've got to accept the conclusion. And this is kind of amazing. We've come to a situation where doing a bit of philosophy has persuaded you to change your mind about something that seemed very, very obvious to you before you started thinking about it.